I'm the one that approached you, but I didn't know who the hell you were. Why you gotta add hell up oh, in sorry. there? I, I'm, <laughs> I'm I didn't kidding. know who you were. I, we went to the same college, but we're six years apart. But I went way Oh, God, here we go again. She, she likes to go way. In all reality, it's not that way. So she was there before I was. And uh, wait, wait, no. Wait, no. No, you were there before I was. <laughs> no, oh, wait. you were there before I was. Wow. Let's start he that over was again. There. <laughs> you look so cute. So I was at Pepperdine first. How she many was years? Six. I'm on campus giving a talk to a bunch of students, and after I was done with that talk, I went to one of my favorite professor's offices, and as I'm in there, he has a wall of all of his favorite students. My professor, my economics professor. That means there's, all right, look at that. Yes, we got we're this, right. We're right so far, yes. we're on the same page. He was just like trendy and hip, and he made economics so much fun that I actually became one of his top students. I want to see those Supply papers. and demand, man, I just <laughs> get economics. I used to help some of the basketball players with Economics, because I was so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I walk over to the wall of his favorite students, and I said, if you're so good, introduce me to, and I found a picture of a beautiful woman, and I said, her. And so he runs over and goes, who'd you point at? Who'd you point at? And he looks at the wall, and he goes, oh, she's a twin. One of them has a boyfriend, one of them doesn't, and I think you po pointed at the one who doesn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> So there are times I go overseas to big stories, and when you're there, I send out an email uh, to friends and family, um, to former teammates, just about like what I'm seeing, what we're doing. One of the people I would open up, their email, when I had time, besides my parents and brother, would be this professor, because he would generally say something funny. And um, I open up this email, and it says, she wants to meet you, and gives me Tamara's email. Now, this is what he told me. He called me, and he said, a guy walked in, my office saw your picture, thought you were really beautiful. And I was like, oh. oh. And he said, uh, do you have a boyfriend? I was like, no, I don't want one. I don't need one. I don't even want to think about one. She had no idea what she was getting herself I into. I really did it. He said, Tamara, he's not an actor. And I was like, oh, thank God. I had tried that. It just, it doesn't work for me. I wanted to be the only crazy one in the family. And I own that. You do. So he did say, I said, is he an actor? He said, no, but he's in TV. So he's going to understand your schedule, understand all of that. So then I got a little bit excited, right? Mm -hmm. He said, he wants your number. And I said, no, no, no. How about you give him my email? It's easier to let down. So, so, um, so far, my story's right. You haven't found anything. Kind of. The thing is, is I never said I wanted to meet you. I was like, okay, email me, fine. I said, hey, you know, I send out these daily emails about being where I'm at for stories. Would you want to uh, be on the email list? And she replied back and said, nice to meet you as well, pretty much. I still have the emails, by the way. So sweet. And she said, I would love to be on the email list. He said, I normally don't do this. And True. that's what really kind of just like melted my heart because you were being honest. Yeah. Up front. I never have done it before or since. Yes. Well, I would hope not. <laughs> We've only been married for eight years, and together almost for, nine. And together together for, for almost what? Fifteen? Yeah, yeah 15 almost fifteen years. Like fifteen. Yeah. Where is the time gone? Yeah. And I was really interested in your emails because Adam is a great writer, and I was like, "Whoa, he's smart. That's good." If so you got me there. It. Yeah. And Two people think I'm smart. Who? My, my mother and you. <laughs> and then. Uh, over the course of the next three weeks when I was there, she would ask me questions every day. I'd, I looked forward to opening up my email and seeing a question from Tamara. And the funny thing is, the first few days, I still had no idea who she was. So when Sister Sister started, I was a freshman in college playing sports. If I was watching Sister Sister as a freshman in college, as a college athlete, they would have beat me up. Let's call it like it is. We were watching Friends, Seinfeld, Martin. We're not watching Sister Sister because we're really we're, we're 18, 19 year old. We're not gonna listen. If I was watching 14 year old girls at 19, you should be worried about me. I know you had black players on your team, Adam. Yeah, but we they were watching no, Sister no, Sister. No, they were watching Martin. But my producer, mm -hmm. amazing guy, one of my mm -hmm. one of my groomsmen, he actually was sitting next to me the first time I Googled you. And as your name pops up with like Tamara Mori, Sister Sister. 
he looks over and goes, why are you, why are you searching for her? And I said, oh, I've been emailing her back and forth. He's like, you've been emailing one of the twins? And I said, you know who she is? He goes, yeah, which one is it? And I said, it's Tamara. He goes, oh yeah, I watched them on TV in high school. He goes, I just have one question. Yeah, yeah. Did he sing the theme song? No, he didn't. How many? Did he go, do okay. you know, sister, not, sister? I don't even know the theme song. I'll tell you this though. How many guys truly mm -hmm. would come up to you and sing the theme song? I've only really heard one guy ever do it. I see, I've heard a lot of women come to you and go, hey, it's sister, sister. You're actually right. So I come home from the tsunami, and my first date I go on is with this one. I knew I was in trouble when I'm walking up at the Sherman Oaks Galleria, and uh -huh. she's outside with her hair all curly and like 50 little girls around her side on autographs, and I went, oh man, what have I gotten myself into? First of all, she looks gorgeous. I'm like, oh, oh man. thank you. Very pretty. Um, but I was like, oh man, is this gonna be, this is gonna be, this is gonna oh, be Oh, you thought I was like one of those like celebrities? Yeah. Okay. There are times where I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. You're one of those celebrities? Now, with me? No, you got better. Uh <laughs> You know how sometimes you go on a date and you just like, <laughs> just do too much. You forget who you are and you think, oh, oh, I gotta look hot. I gotta like make sure I have my hair. How would he like my hair? I was like, forget that. I'm gonna wear my hair naturally curly. I hardly had any makeup on. I wore a shirt, some jeans, and I think some sneakers. Because yep. again, I wasn't like sure. taking it that seriously. It was kind of like a blouse. Blue mm -hmm. jeans, yep. sneakers, hair was curly, curly and down, no makeup, bam, perfect. Bam. So immediately when I, I met you and we had dinner, mm -hmm. I felt comfortable. Yeah. I felt like I could be 100% myself. There are times too when you go on a date and you don't feel comfortable, you like eat like this, you don't even eat. <laughs> I was like, can I have some ribs? I've never <laughs> I, eaten like that. I, but they don't have ribs at P.F. Chang's. No, but I was so comfortable. And then we went uh, to the car and listened to music for like three hours. We and listened to in music the parking garage. for three hours and just talked. Mm -hmm. I promise you, we just talked. We didn't even kiss. At the end, I think we kissed. No, once. baby, not the first date. Do you remember when we had our first kiss? I thought I kissed once. No, I thought we did. Babe, no. I don't kiss on the first date. Oh, bull. Oh, you talking about? I don't kiss on the first date. Adam. I think you're. No, no. No. Did you date someone else no. that day? No. Oh, yeah. Clearly, I did. We only spent nine hours or whatever it was together. No, but I did find out he was dating other people no. while we were. So, dating. like, two weeks later, I go on a date. Now, mind you, we've only been on two or three dates, and it was just, just it was a date that I had actually been asked out on before I met her. So I told the girl I'd go on a date with her. So I went on a date with her. We had a good time. It wasn't the same as Tamara. She finds out, flips out. Can you repeat out. that again? Huh? Can you repeat that again? I went on a date, well, which part? It wasn't the same as Tamara. Do you remember our first kiss? Clearly not. You better remember our first kiss. <laughs> Is that my apartment? Yes! Where? I thought it was on the first date, though. I guess it wouldn't have been because you didn't come to my apartment the first day. Yes, because I'm went not my apartment. that chick. Do you out, know where? Out front. <laughs> That's what I remember. I remember out front. Out front where? Like in front of my door. <laughs> no! So I had that little courtyard in front. Yes, I did. I thought we kissed on your couch. That wasn't the first kiss. That was like the wasn't. second kiss. You know, it's always that uncertainty of, okay, we're getting along great. We have, we laughing, having amazing times. The second time in a row, we've had a really good time. And there's that uncertainty, that, that uncertainty inside going, well, it's either gonna be really good <laughs> or really bad. There's very rarely an in-between, in my opinion, and so it was really, really good. Really good. Yeah. You know, sometimes when your relationship is public, you're gonna hear a lot of chatter. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hear a lot of voices and you have to make sure that those outside voices don't get in the way of your voice. And I thought by us separating mm -hmm. that I could really pray fast. Party. And those two, those three don't really go together. <laughs> <laughs>
but it's true. I partied first. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, it's time to fast and pray. <laughs> That's better. Yes, because I just didn't feel, I didn't feel like myself. Right. It took us, unfortunately, but fortunately, to break up uh, about a year. Um, first it was her, then it was me, um, to kind of like figure it out. So um, I remember she broke up with me first, and I went, what? And so for the next couple of months, I, I figured it out that I wanted to be with her. And then she was still trying to figure it out. I'll never forget when I walked in. You remember what I said when I walked in? No. I walked in and I just said, listen, I love you. Um, I've shown that over the last three months that I've figured out that I do want to get married and I am ready. You're not there. That's fine. And maybe you'll change your mind one day, but I'm moving on. And I walked out. He sure did. And I went on two amazing trips. <laughs> Without me. I went to the Northeast and then all over London and Europe. Do you know I used to stalk your Facebook page? Did and you? I would be like, oh, man, <laughs> he looks like he's having a lot of fun. I did. And I'm over here dating a bartender. And he <laughs> wrote me a beautiful letter mm -hmm. that said, I, you know, I'm sad. I'm obviously sad. But we, we need this break. I wish you the best, and I will always love you. Till this day, I have that little letter, and I framed it Yep. in our bedroom. And her brother, Taj. What does he do? No, he took my side. Oh, yeah, when we broke up, I will tell you this. Taj is my boy. My best friend, my family members, including my mother, all took Adam's side. And I saw on Facebook, or was it Instagram? Facebook, yeah. Yes, Facebook. Your Facebook, him hanging out with my brother <laughs> while we were broken up. I call Taj and I go, Taj, what do you think you're doing? Taj goes, he's a cool guy. <laughs> you're the one that's the loser. You're the one who broke up with him. And I was like, oh my God. Well, but then it was, but then it Even my best friend, Andrea. <laughs> This is the exclusive Housley life. What's that? We were both with other people, and the other people told us. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you're Maybe. still in love with your ex. <laughs> this is true. I don't think we should be doing this. I really like you, but, but I feel like. You need to figure that out. Yeah. We were going to the same church. Yep. We had broken up, mm -hmm. and I was still going. Adam was still going, mm -hmm. but we were going at different times. Right when I had made the decision that I couldn't live my life without Adam, and obviously you made the same. Well, you I, were thinking I, I already, it. I already made that decision. I was like, at that point, I was just, but she's, if she figures it out, great. But I mean, what I'm saying is, is you were still yeah, in love yeah. with me. Of course. But, but, yeah, that's of what course. I'm saying. Oh, OK. I show up at church. It's a big church. And it's a huge church. I'm late, as usual. That never happens. <laughs> the usher tells me, oh, you came a little late. <laughs> um, I think there are some seats on this side. There was a huge partition. So as I'm walking in, I can't see what's on the left side. And he said, I think there's one seat left. There was one seat. Guess who? was sitting next to the one seat. This guy. I think it was our, I think it was, it was divine. Fate. It was fate. Yes, let's, let's stick with that. It was in the house of the Lord. <laughs> yes. I sit down and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. And literally, I go, are you dating someone? That's her first question. Not like, hi, good to see you. Are you, you dating someone now? She's down, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> and she's there, she's like. Are you dating someone? <laughs> First question. Uh huh. It wasn't like. And he like, said, no. said no. And then I had made that decision not, you know, to to stop my my other uh, relationship. I don't even know if that's what you would call it. And at that moment, we said, you know what? We should give this another go. And we went to our favorite restaurant that we used to always go to. Do you remember the name? Yeah. On the count of three. A one, one, two, two three. three. Literati, Literati Cafe. Cafe. So now it leads to where we are now. We have two kids. 
Two kids? I, well, it depends on the day. Someday she has three. Oh my gosh, he admitted that. But, like, that well, would be like... You didn't finish my whole thought, which was... Oh, sorry. Every day I live with three kids. <laughs> but our stories are actually pretty much the same. I agree. If there are any other relationship topics you want us to talk about, just leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to... The Housey Life.